Let's take a look inside the 20th annual Sean Carter Foundation Black Tie Gala in New York City. Here is a look at the inside and the decorations. Don't Stop Believing by Orchestra was definitely giving me Bridgerton. We're going to start off the red carpet coverage with Robert Kraft. Oh, I'm so proud of Sean or Jay as I call him and, and actually Gloria and the great work they've done here in this foundation. I wish them 20 more years and I'm honored to be a partner with them in any way we can, standing up and fighting inequities and hatred and finding ways to build bridges and go on and on and combat the negativity in this world. And what I especially love about Jay is he hasn't forgotten his roots and how he started and how he has to help young people and give them hope. And I think that's the essence of this. And when I really think about it too, um, you know, I started my foundation he did this here, and we really have the same, we're the same, except we have different skin color, but our hearts and minds and what we want to achieve is all similar. Next up on the carpet, we have the very cool and always well-dressed ASAP Ferg. Man, it's a full circle for me because I've been a student of The Rock since I was interning at Rockaware, back when the building was in the fashion district, and it was like, Rock Aware, Off of Dodge, Billionaire's Boys Club was all in the same building. And I was doing TED Packs for the company, bringing in references and things like that. Getting per diem from Michelle. So um, it's, it's always good to celebrate uh, the humble beginnings and just see how much the company has grown. Um, watch Jay and his glory and also watch him and celebrate him because he helped so many, including myself. Beautiful words from Ferg. Next up, we have the gorgeous Tanache. The Sean Carter Foundation has helped so many children, so many underprivileged communities. I think it's so amazing after 20 years that, you know, they're still here doing all this amazing stuff. So I'm very honored to be able to celebrate them tonight. DJ Khaled and his wife were also in attendance. It's about Sean Carter Foundation, man. It's unbelievable, beautiful, and the things they continue to do. Look at the school they got. The school they got up and we collaborated, gave some scholarships the other day. Just the things they continue to do. Like right now we're all here together at a, a, a foundation black tie gala. But people got to realize besides this gala, it's every day giving back. You know, we coming together to continue to celebrate, but we also come here to do it even bigger. But I want to remind people. It's every day. The beautiful Angie Martinez, one of the reasons she and Lala that I have this whole YouTube channel and even try to do journalism was on the carpet at the Sean Carter event, looking gorgeous in this black dress. It has stood for, it has, has been uh, rooted in integrity and, and reaching back for people and lifting people up. Um, and the foundation represents that. Um, his mother is phenomenal. I, I am a fan of his mother as much of, as I am a fan of him at this point after just recently interviewing her. And um, and the work they're doing is amazing. So I'm happy to be here to support, celebrate, encourage next another 20 years uh, and bring some light to the foundation. Jay-Z's mother Gloria and her new wife Roxanne were also in attendance at the event. If you're unaware, Gloria is the person who really started this whole foundation and put it together. So shout out to her for holding it down for the past 20 years for all the students. Miguel was also in the building. I feel like everybody that came to the library exhibition just stayed in town so they can come to this Sean Carter gala. Why wouldn't you? Miguel, you look okay, but I hate the suit vest bow tie combination. It, it's giving costume, sweetie, and I love you and I love your music. Mr. and Mrs. Yogati, Angela Simmons and Yogati also in attendance at the event. I like them being a socialite couple and being out on the scene. Especially after all Yo Gotti went through to get Miss Angelo's attention. So I feel like he deserves. Tamika Mallory on the carpet. I like her Von Cleef braces and I like that Chanel bag. Ellie Smith came to the carpet and did what needed to be done. She knew there would be a lot of rich men in attendance and she did not disappoint. Miss Regina King also looking beautiful and all white. I like this on you Regina King a lot. I want to see you at more events. 
Meek Mill used to be so fine. And then he decided to get these braids and ruin it all, throw it all away. I'm tired of it. I don't want to see it. It's upsetting for me and my homegirls. Lil Uzi on the carpet, just being Lil Uzi. The look is fine. I don't like the hat. <laughs> I have just learned since the 4th of July events that Corey Gamble is really in the it circle when it comes to Jay-Z and his friends. I'm amazed. Somebody explain to me why in the comment section. Babyface and his girlfriend, Rika. Babyface is wearing Dolce & Gabbana. Babyface, you've been doing so well recently, but this suit, this suit threw me off. I don't love it. I'm sorry, Babyface. Your date, though, has stepped it up since her Billboard Awards outfit, so I like her look. This look, compared to that, I'm gonna give her a 10. I despise the negative influence y'all are having on Mr. Michael Rubin. Now y'all got him wearing these G Fazos with this suit. I am appalled. But his girlfriend, Camille, she looks amazing. I love that dress. I feel like I've seen every single one of Chaz's movies and never knew his name. He's on the carpet with his wife, Gianna. I think they both look great. It's definitely giving my boss Bob wives. Phoebe Gates at the Sean Carter Foundation Gala. Looking cute. I like her outfit. I don't know who she is, though. So somebody let me know in the comments. Steve Rifkin still out on the scene, popping it at the tender age of 61. I'm not mad at it. If you've watched the Wu-Tang show on Hulu, you've seen their interpretation of the young Steve. Next up, we got Zane Lowe, Nadeska. I don't know who that is in the middle. And Ebro. Meek Mill having a little bit of fun on the carpet. Again, I'm just mad at the braids. I don't like it. Jay-Z, your event so far, excellent. And of course, last but not least, we got Beyonce pulling up with her cousin, Angie Beyonce. I feel like that's her ride or die. Beyonce is wearing Valden Saharti, very similar to the dress Halle Bailey wore at the premiere of Little Mermaid. Then she wowed us all by using her viral sound on TikTok. <laughs> Please watch it so you can laugh. My husband, I'm happy. I'm happy to so see my husband. I'm happy. I'm happy to so see and that's why they call it Beyonce's internet because she is lurking she is watching and she is taking notes then we were blessed with another blue ivy sighting she's wearing a green goddess dress from ALC the shoes are converse watching blue ivy blossom and become a fashion girl is very very pleasing to me yo Gotti and Angela again inside the party drinking that ace of spades Ferg and I don't know who this man is but he's dressed cool let me know who he is in the comments if y'all know Tanache McGill and Babyface this picture is epic I know that they're gonna hang that up in the house Jay-Z and Kodak Lens in the building what is a Rock Nation event without Kodak Lens I didn't know anything about starting a foundation but I knew that there's so many young people that would love to be born because the Sean Carter School is Hearing that lady talk about the statistics in her British accent is kind of offensive. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments. Lil Uzi is bidding on things and look he won. Nice to see everyone having a good time. Look at Beyonce's earrings though. My God. Fifteen thousand, twenty thousand with you, sir. Twenty thousand, easy. Twenty thousand with you, the bills with you, sir. And twenty thousand now. Twenty thousand is big. Who's going twenty five? Everyone was signing this giant Ace of Spades bottle. If you pause it, you can see all the autographs. I wonder if they auctioned this off too. Here's Lil Uzi signing it. I know that would go for a lot of money on eBay. Then they had a baby face performance. How lucky. I'm super jealous. Who gets an impromptu baby face performance? What I mean, even Beyonce was turned. Who wouldn't be to some baby face? Blue Ivy over there getting all of the best childhood memories. I know every single person is jealous of that. Oh 
congratulations to the Carter family on a successful 20 years. Here's to another. If you are unaware about the Sean Carter Foundation and what they do, here goes a little something. You can Google it. Jay-Z, congratulations again on the exhibit. Let me know what you think about the event and everybody's fits in the comments. And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.